Good morning, guys. It is post-op day four. And I am still out of breath because he really did sew up my insides. Honestly, God, I really feel like I have a, a waist trainer in my stomach. And on top of that, I can't eat a lot because like, I just get full so darn fast. So the portion sizes that I was eating before, mm -mm, I'm eating way half of that. But I'm standing up on my own. Check me out. Ooh, yeah. Uh-oh. Well, uh, standing up on my own, got my little drains hanging. I just changed those. I'm doing that I'm pretty much on my own now. My husband was telling me at first. So I changed both my drains. I'm in my, pardon me, I'm in my downstairs bathroom. Ooh, which has been so easy for me. Because walking up to them upstairs bathrooms, I cannot. I have not been upstairs since I got home. Um, so I don't even know. Upstairs could be a hot mess. I don't know. Um, washing my face. Obviously brushing my teeth on my own. Uh, um, even doing small stuff like helping my kids downstairs, brush, my little babies brush their teeth. Um, but I'm definitely out of breath. I, I have to sit down after a few minutes. Um, so yeah, hold on one second. I gotta flip the camera because I gotta wash my face and I gotta sit down. Face. I gotta stay bent over. You wanna stay bent over at all times. Cause we ain't trying to open up no stitches. So that's what caused your back to hurt so much. Being yeah, bent over. All day. That's really what caused your back to hurt. I definitely feel better than day one and day two. But I'm still only day four, so I'm just not walking around once every hour or a couple times every hour for at least five minutes. Like the doctor said, because I don't want no blood clot. We got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, I'm gonna stop playing. Cause I be doing stuff like that and then it make me laugh. Let me tell you something. I've already laughed numerous times and hurt my stomach. I have already thrown up and hurt my stomach. I thought passing gas was gonna hurt. It actually hasn't. And I know when I had them C-section, passing gas was the worst, but it didn't hurt. Now I'm just waiting on EMI, but waiting to poop because I ain't did it. It's been four days. So, it'll come eventually, I guess. Doing the simplest things. I have your butt out of breath like right now. I feel like I need to sit down already right now. Oh. So I'm gonna sit down for a second in the bathroom because I'm out of breath. Literally doing the simplest things really have you out of breath. Oh. So that I don't feel nauseous as soon as I feel myself start getting dizzy or whatever. I sit down immediately. Just throwing up ain't no joke. On your stomach. So let me try to get up. Go back in my living room. Oh yeah. Okay, y'all. And I'm walking like a granny. You can't walk no faster than that. But I'm up doing it on my own. And I 
ain't got to walk. And that go my superhero. I can be a superhero, baby. Okay. Can clear that sample? I ain't. I can't say no sound. <laughs> oh, man, my husband, my child. I love my husband, man. man. I love your husband too. You childish. He's so fly. That man been oh, coming through. Mm. Mm. Don't mind me, y'all. That man been coming through, y'all. Cooking and cleaning and I ain't gotta do nothing. Take care of the babies. He about to do the baby hair. I mean, cause I can't be brushing her hair. Cause I ain't got no energy. Ooh, y'all. It's taking all of my energy. No. Face oh, yeah. up. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. My living room look a mess because me and my husband been laid up in here for about four days. I'm going to walk her right there. My son is sitting on the floor. Okay. Got a method going on. How to get on this couch here. Oh, toodles. So y'all who don't know, my, those of you don't know that my, my son has autism and he was nonverbal up until, when, I feel like the beginning of last year. So now when he say stuff, he can start talking. I just think it's the cutest thing. So, I don't know if you can see, but right there in my refrigerator, my kitchen look a mess too, y'all. Right there in my refrigerator, he drew the clubhouse, the Mickey Mouse clubhouse. Carter, did you draw the Mickey Mouse clubhouse? That's Carter, uh-uh, you can't sit on mommy. Hey. Mommy. Where's mommy? Carter. That's right. Mommy. Carter. And Carter. Give mommy a kiss. Mm, I love you. Yeah. Hey, Carter. I, I love you. I love you. I love you too. Love you too, baby. Yes. Okay. All right. Where's Toodles? Oh, Toodles. Where's Toodles? Did you drop Toodles? Where? Is that Toodles back there? Toodles. <laughs> Is that Toodles? Uh, to so, where's Toodles? Is that Toodles right there? Toodles. Yes. Yes. So you guys, he's real good at imitating what you're saying. Because he's still learning words. Oh, Toodles. Oh, Toodles. Mama's so proud of her big boy. Okay, my husband's over the door. My baby hair detangling it. You washed your hair, babe? Yeah. Washed it. Put some leave in conditioner in it. She detangling it now. So I can't get up to do all of that right now. So, daddy is being Mr. Mom. Did daddy wash your hair? Right. Daddy, no. wash your hair. I don't wash my hair. You didn't wash your hair. Who did it? Daddy, do it. Me? Yeah, I'm glad he did. He looks so pretty. He looks so pretty, Mama. She been crying, y'all. She hate getting her hair done. Got all her hair and don't want to get it done. Anywho, let me flip back. All right, y'all. I'm up good. I had a good shower. Uh, my husband is tired of cooking, so he went to Chick Fil A. Got us some Chick Fil A. So I'm gonna eat me a salad. Let me show you what my salad looking like. Hold on. All right. Bay over the tire, y'all. I've been working him like a Hebrew slave. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Look at our living room. Our living room look a hot mess. Yeah. 
Y'all know this ain't our life. This ain't life, but I cannot heat up and do nothing. I'm over here like What you got going on over there, babe? Just one or two items. That's it. Let me see. Let me see. You ate it. A couple chicken sandwiches. Milkshake. How many chicken sandwiches you had? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I gotta laugh like this. So hard, but stop it. What I had one, two, maybe two chicken sandwiches. Oh my god, stop. A little milkshake. I earned this. You right, baby. You earned it. You did. We ain't here watching the news like old people. Try. I don't even know why we watching the news. And I got um, my husband got me a carb salad. So I'm gonna get into that. Try to eat that up. Alright guys, what is up? What is up? Today is post op day six. I am on the way to my pre op appointment. I'm not pre op Lord, have mercy. Confused. I'm on the way to my post op appointment. Um with my doctor. I don't mind my baby hair back there. They're looking a little mess. Y'all know I came around that good. Um, so yeah, my husband's taking me. Hey, husband. We out here. He over it. We are. He's, he's taking me to my appointment. So we'll see what go on once I get in there. And I'll see you guys when I get there. I'm making it just moving slow. Okay. How's your pain? It's good besides yeah. the drains. Yeah. The drains are a pain in my butt. <laughs> okay. You look so pretty. Of you. Let's take a peek and see how everything's looking. Okay. So we're going to have to wait to see as you stand. This should actually pull flatter. Uh, so don't worry so much about that. Okay. That'll get better as you stand up. Okay. You I can look barely, right. but barely. I can barely feel you doing that. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's take this off too so we can take a look at your size. How have the drains been? Um, they've been burning, but they, um, they... Not terrible? Uh, it's been kind of hurting. Um, yeah, bad. Nobody likes the drains. I'm sorry about that. They haven't been, um, a lot hasn't been coming out of them. Okay. All right. Let me see the other side. Okay. This is just glue and tape. So okay. that looks just fine. We're going to leave that be because that's supporting that whole area. Okay. We're just going to hopefully allow things to just settle and soften. You've been standing that up straight. No, I have That's the right answer. Okay. <laughs> I've been bent that. over. I've been bent, bent over. Have you been taking your binder off to allow the skin to breathe a little bit? Um, a couple times, that maybe. Like do that for a couple times. And okay. then when you do that, what I want you to do is just to start to gently rub on these areas. Okay. Because again, the skin itself is actually swollen. Okay. And that'll all get better. It's just tight. Okay. Now, if you don't need to keep these on if That's, you don't like them. Okay. We can make them go away. Okay. Now, you're saying the drains aren't putting out too much. How much is not too much? Um, well, when I wrote, my husband wrote it down last time, it was 10 and... Oh, that's fine. The phone we can keep underneath, that's fine. Okay. okay. It was 10 on one side and 25 on the other. Is that about how much it is per time? Yeah. Okay. The it's last been that way for the last several days? The last couple days, yeah. All right. So which one do you like less? Um, this one. All right. So we'll take that one out and we'll leave the other one until next time, okay? Okay. All right. 
So let's talk about getting a drain out. The drain on the inside of you is the same caliber as the drain on the outside of you. So the only thing that hurts is the stitch. Okay. So I'll cut the stitch and that'll be a little uncomfortable. And that's it. And then the rest of it should be easy peasy. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna cut the stitch first. What's up guys? Today is post op day seven and I feel way better today. Um I did not court record yesterday that much because yesterday I just couldn't get it together. Yesterday was a bathroom day. I was trying to use the bathroom. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now that if you are having this surgery done or any other surgery, please get you some um, Miralax. And my doctor suggested I get Colace, which I did get. Um, and it still did not work. Oh my God. Like... I can't even describe the pain that I went through yesterday and today. So, um, yeah, so I just really didn't feel like recording yesterday. Um, so I tried to catch up some today. So that was going on yesterday. Oh, also I did record yesterday. I'm sorry. I did record a little bit. I went to the, um, doctor yesterday. I didn't record the day before yesterday. I went to the doctor and, um, he took out one of my tubes. He took out my right tube and left my left tube in. So I gotta go back next week in order for him to take out my left tube. They burn when you're getting taken out and the one that's left in still burns now. Um, so I'm just ready to get it taken out. Oh my God. Um, so I have here also some footage of me at the doctor's office. So I'll play that for you guys. Um, also what else happened today? Pretty much today, um, today and yesterday after I came back from the doctor, I was just pretty much sleep. I slept the rest of the day after I came back from the doctor's office yesterday. And I pretty much slept all morning this morning. Um, just tired. Like literally I just feel drained. I have, I don't have that much energy. Um, even with taking my vitamin C vitamins, um, still not. I mean, cause the way that he sold me up, I'm so sewn up that just walking a little bit and taking a breath is, it literally is exhausting, like literally. So um, I'm not trying to discourage you from wanting to do this. I'm just trying to tell you the truth of how I'm feeling. I do have on um, my Faha today. That's what this is here. Um, it's hard to put on your Faha when you have a drain still left in. So I had to pull the drain down through the bottom of my leg part of the faha. And then I had to um, pin it to the bottom of my dress. I do have on a sundress today, just to kind of pep myself up a little bit. My husband kind of encouraged me to put on a little sundress um, and get out of pajamas, because I've been in pajamas the last couple days, um, because I've been pretty much laying around. Um, Again, I've just been pretty tired, just pretty drained. I still feel a little bit drained right now, actually. So I pulled myself together to take a shower and um, I ate breakfast this morning. My husband fixed me breakfast and then I've been sleeping. And I just not, um, not too long ago woke up. So I wanna stop on here and just let you know how day seven was going. I am walking better. I'm standing up more. He did give me permission to kind of stand up straight some. So I am standing up a little bit better, but still the, just the walking, man, it just um, takes your breath. Like I can barely, I can't even walk upstairs. So my stairs right there, I can't even barely walk up them up. So I'm still day seven, still downstairs. Um, I still sleep downstairs because my husband definitely don't want me walking upstairs. And it's a struggle to get up there anyway. So, um, uh, hopefully, I'm hoping this weekend that I feel good because it is going to be Easter weekend. So, I'm hoping that I feel good enough to um, kind of help my husband cook a little bit, cook Easter dinner. I bought some, um, if y'all y'all already know that I coupons, so I bought some baskets and stuff for my children. So, I'm going to do my basket, my kids' Easter baskets and stuff and get them, try to, I'm gonna try to do some eggs, dye some eggs with them. So hopefully this weekend I can 
get some things done with my husband and my kids. Um, it's the plan. I have not taken a pain medication since yesterday. So day six, post-op. I don't plan on taking any more pain, heavy duty pain medications. One, because of things constipate you like a mug. And then um, two, just cause it knocks me out and I just don't want to feel like that. So I think for the rest of the time, I'm just going to take maybe like Tylenol or ibuprofen or something like that. I just not, I don't think I'm going to take any more pain medication. I just really don't want to. I've never been a person that like to take pain medication anyway. I literally take it the first couple of days and then I just, it, I like stop cold turkey. I don't want, want it anymore. It just, I don't like the way it made me feel. Um, uh, I don't know. All I say, I'm still sleeping on, um, I'm still sleeping on the couch, still drinking as much water as possible. I've been drinking so much water that I try to drink a little juice, a little cranberry juice, and it tasted so nasty to me. Like, I don't know what's going on with my palate um, for it when it comes to juice, but it didn't even taste good. Like, and I used to love juice um, before I had the surgery, but since I had the surgery, I've been only drinking water and I don't like the way the cranberry juice tastes anymore. So I don't know what happened to that. I also, I get full so easily, like easily, easily I get full. Like I eat a piece of orange or I have, uh, like I had got um, a salad and I ate half of this salad. Like, I, I, like I'm like i getting really full really easy. So um, I'll just keep that in mind. Um, yeah, I'm out of breath now too. I really don't know what I'm trying to tell you to keep in mind on day seven. Other than stay encouraged if you're going through this journey, keep pushing, have some help for sure. There, are, There's a lot of women that can do this by themselves, and they're super strong, I'm telling you. But I mean, I literally have been having to have my hus husband help me. And um, it's, it's, it's very difficult, I imagine very difficult doing this by yourself. And I've been so thankful to have my husband and my kids to try to help me along, um, but I I probably wouldn't have been, been able to do this by myself because it's very, very, very rough. My husband has helped me get into our shower. He has helped me wash my bag. He's done a lot of stuff. He's helped me empty my drains. He's cooked for me. He's done a lot of that when I couldn't get up and walk well. So, um, yeah. Um, so I would just encourage if you are trying to get on this journey to have some help don't go through this alone ladies because it's a lot it's a lot of emotions um it's funny because i was so excited about getting this tummy tuck and i still haven't had the time to even really grasp the fact that i got a tummy tuck like still and i'm on day seven it still hasn't really hit me yet that i have a tummy tuck like i haven't been able to enjoy it yet because i've been going through the pain and constipation and i've been tired i've been asleep all kind of stuff so um, now I'm just ready to get to the part where I can enjoy, um, the experience. And, um, that's what I'm hoping for for the next couple of days. That's pretty much all I got to say for today because I'm pretty much out of breath. Um, y'all go ahead and I'm going to probably end the video here. Y'all go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. I'll leave some comments below any questions that you have. And I'll be sure to get back to you and answer them. And, um... I'm going to keep this vlog thing going, even though I'm tired. I'm going to keep it going and um, let you guys see the rest of the journey. You'll be going through it as I'm going through it, and hopefully this helps someone on their journey. So, and in the meantime, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and exit on out this video, and um, peace. I'll see you on the next one.